Hey guys, I've just concluded my local Townsville uh, Cliffhanger Cup. I uh, ended up going 4-0, so had a great tournament. Um, we had a few less competitors there than usual. I think that it wasn't ranked. A few people who were really keen for Season 2 uh, didn't come along for the uh, unranked comp. So that's a bit of a bummer. Um, but yeah, there's still some really cool battles, uh, some fun, some cool mods that were brought out at the right times, some at the wrong times. Anyway, we'll get into the battles and I'll show you how I went 4-0. Alright, so our first battle coming up again is against Broly718. Uh, he's got a great team there, a lot of interesting picks. Uh, he went the 555 route, uh, didn't go the 9 and 5. So we lead first with our Togekiss against Quagsire. Now, our charm is obviously going to do a heck of a lot, but we will die to one Stone Edge. Uh, wasn't really expecting Sludge Bombs though, um, so that was an interesting. Pick, obviously, uh, Poison is going to be super effective against Fairy. Uh, I wasn't sure how much Sludge Bomb would do, so I thought we'll keep him alive. Now, this is actually our second battle. Our first battle we had to replay because of the switch glitch, so I wasn't able to throw a uh, charged move on from Sableye onto his uh, Lucario, so we had to replay the game. So this is the replayed match, so I kind of... A fairly good idea of how this match is going to turn out, which is why the switches are fairly quick. So he gets off a um, power punch because he knows that I'm going to get to the foul play before he'll get to the shadow ball. Uh, doesn't actually kill him, so he probably could have potentially have tried to get to that shadow ball. It would have been close, but I don't think he would have got there in the end. Um, so we'll throw our power gem against this Skarmory. And then we've got Bastiodon on in the background, but we don't need to use it because Power Jam is actually quite a heavy hitting move. So that's the first match up to us. So we come to the second match and we get the glee we want. We've got Bastiodon on versus Jirachi. So he switches out to his Lucario and frustratingly, every time I click switch, it threw another fast move. So eventually we get out of there. Now, stupidly, I go into Golbat. Um, I definitely should have gone straight into the Sable Eye, but that's it. So he throws a Hail Mary, I'll throw a Hail Mary with Shadow Balls. We both block them. Uh, and then he's going to get to his Shadow Ball. So I threw the Shield back for the Poison Fang and we got it, which is great. So we'll let our Golbat go down to the Shadow Ball. So we've both got no Shields left. Sable Eye will farm. I think it's two, two quick attacks and it's dead. Now he brings out Victory Bell. Now, no shields left, so foul play is going to do a heap of damage. Um, but Victory Bell's Razor Leaf is going to do a heap, and he gets to a Leaf Blade, which will finish off. Um, but Bastion only takes one fast attack to kill it. Now, don't know why I threw the Stone Edge. <laughs> um, which is a very silly move because Jirachi's Steel Typing, right? Steel Psychic, so. Fortunately, Dune's Eye doesn't do that much damage, and we get to another flamethrower just before we get killed. Um, so press the right buttons, <laughs> and you won't have those issues. All right, so the second match is against Bronze38. Um, Bronze has an interesting team. Um, yeah, not well, no, definitely not what I was expecting to see. Um, Hypno was and Arteria was, but yeah, I wasn't expecting the other Pokemon. But we got an awesome matchup at the start, Medicham versus... Lucario, so um, we're going to take that every time. Now, Braum has wasted both of her shields here, uh, which is great for us. We'll bring Bastiod on to farm down this Clefable. We don't need to worry about any of the charge moves. Me and Amash, see, still barely does anything. Less than a quarter, maybe about a quarter of the health of Bastiod on. Um, so she's got no shields left, and Altaria in the back, so. Bastiodon doesn't even need to shield any of this, and he'll get to a Stone Age. Stone Age. <laughs> He's from the Stone Age. A uh, Stone Edge, and we'll get this win. Um, so that'll be the first round here. Now, I was like, oh, I think I've scared off the Lucario here, so uh, let's try and keep things positive. We'll leave with Bastiodon. No, oops, sorry. We'll leave with Sableye, and we get an awful matchup with the Clevable. What I wanted to do was lead with the Bastiodon. Um, so yes, we did successfully scare off the Lucario, otherwise Lucario would have come in right there and then. Um, but now I'm very mindful of that Clefable in the back, and what I've got in my team, both of the other Mons lose. 
terribly to Clefable. So I just need to throw as many charge moves as possible. Hopefully she'll throw as many charge moves as possible. Because they're not going to do too much. Uh, unless she hits a bulldoze. And cool, we block it. And get our Bastiodon out of there ASAP. Because we need him in the back for, like, for that Clefable. And potentially if there's an Altaria there too, we'll need uh, we'll definitely need uh, Bastiodon for that. So take down the Munchlax. And yep, sure enough, there's the Altaria. But she's got no shields left, so we get to that Ice Punch, and this is going to do huge damage to Altaria. Um, sure, she's going to farm down, but um, so to protect our Bastiodon, which we don't really need to probably, um, we're going to bring in Sableye, just to make sure that we've got a good matchup against that Clefable. So, we'll get to the Power Jam, switch out, and then it's just fast moves all the way home, baby. Woohoo! So, good matches, two first matches first up, um, we're feeling strong, won them both, um, good battlers though, so we're up against Sammy Trailer now, uh, and we get a great lead now, Sam had a really, really good team, um, I think it's the most meta team I've ever seen Sam use, which is well done for him, uh, well maybe not, you know, so that was really good, but I got the lead of the Medicham versus the Vigoroth, um, so he comes out next with Azumarill. Uh, now debatably you could switch, but I want to keep that switch advantage. So un unfortunately it does let Azumarill charge up a ton of energy. Um, but he does, here we go, so this is great for me. So if he had to just farm me down, potentially that could have been better, but he's wasted a heap of energy. So we'll come in with Golbat and we know we can just get to a bunch of Poison Fangs and force his shield. So obviously we have to shield up these Ice Beams He's going to throw them as soon as he gets them. And we want to use Poison Fangs as much as possible to burn those shields if he wants to keep that Azumarill nice and healthy and high. So, forced to use our second shield here to keep a massive uh, health advantage because without Ice Beam, Golbat really doesn't take much damage from Azumarill. And we're left with a Bronzong, so we'll throw the Shadow Ball. He's either got a shield or he's dead. Uh, a little bit of lag here, which causes a bit of a stuff up. So, shields, right? No. So, it's one of those glitches where the shield doesn't go through. Um, sorry, he didn't shield, but the damage didn't go through. So, I was like, look, we'll just play it out, Sam. And um, if we need to, we can replay it. But, um, Sam being the good guy he is, he, uh, he doesn't shield. Even though he could have shielded there. Um, so, he just lets it go. And yeah, I mean, I think I think the match, the outcome of the match would have been a win for me, either way. Um, so yeah, thanks for that, Sam. Uh, props to you. So we'll go on to our second match, and this is probably. I thought this was a really good matchup. I thought that Golbat could get enough poison fangs to burn all of Azumarill's shields and still get the win. Um, but. As you'll see we, in the two shield scenario, I am actually gonna lose this matchup. So I don't know if that was IV dependent, maybe a bit of lag as you can see here, maybe I missed out on a one move and he got an extra one, who knows. Um, but yeah, we're gonna lose this two shield matchup. So there's Sam's first shield. I'm gonna have to burn another one here, otherwise Golbat's dead. And I, re I don't have my victory bell, so I really wanna get this Azumarill down. Otherwise, he's just gonna tear through the rest of my ones. So yeah, as you can see, he's in the red, but he's not dead yet. And he's used up all his energy. So we'll bring in Medici, I oh, know, Bastidon, try and farm up a little bit of energy because he's pretty slow on the old energy farm. He gets in his Vigoroth. And we're gonna throw the Stone Edge and see what he does. Oh no, sorry, Flamethrower. See what he does. So he does shield, so we'll get out of there into our Medicham. Um, obviously, Body Slam's not gonna do much to Bastidon, but if he had a bulldoze, and those counters definitely will. But we can be pretty happy here. Medicham's going to do enough damage to take down his uh, Vigoroth. Now, obviously, if I hadn't, we hadn't a CMP tied, I would have just continued to counter there, to counter him down. Because, um, as you can see, it probably would have done the job just to counters over uh, that move. So, last Pokemon he's got left is a Bronzong. Now, I was like, oh, this is GG, right? But, as with the other round, um, Sam's Bronzong doesn't have Bulldoze. So without Bulldoze, 
Bronzong does not beat the Bastiodon. So we'll get to another flamethrower and that will be all sure. Very close games. I would have lost both of those rounds if he had have had Bulldoze on that Bronzong. So, but sorry about that, Sam. Thanks for the games, mate. And finally, we got the one of the other challengers who was at the cup was a Zito Pig. Um, now he was not ready for the Toga Kiss lead into the um, yeah into his Medicham. So doing that half the health, and I'm going to throw Ancient Power, and he doesn't shield. So. Togekiss has taken almost no damage. He's killed one and a half Pokemon. That's essentially a rat right here. Um, so he's still got his, his switch timer up. Um, and what's he got? A Medicham in the back with less than half health without any power-ups. So that's this round done and dusted. Um, so no need to shield anything. Even Flamethrower won't kill here. Stone Edge, which was obviously a mistake. You want to throw Flamethrower there. Um, and with my Medicham being powered up, this is his first power up punch, I think my second or third, but switch back to Togekiss, finish it off quick with the charms. All right, so we're going to our second round now against Ray, so I think he's got a better feel for it. Um, I'm really feeling, really feeling my Medicham here, and we catch the Umbreon. So, fantastic lead for us. It's a bit of a slow one, this old Umbreon, um, but fortunately, the counter damage is just going to keep ramping up and now that wasn't lag ray was just taking for some reason he was struggling with his switches earlier so he just took a little bit longer to make sure he got that switch um so we land the ice punch uh on the gold bat we don't need even shadow ball it's not going to do too much to bastard on so we'll farm him up take him down now we both still got two shields here and i'm sorry guys <laughs> I'm locked into my Bastidon for a little bit yet, so I can't switch out to my Medicham. So, apologies. Um, we'll be back in about 15 to 30 seconds when this one comes to conclusion. You know, Bastidon v Bastidon. At least we see this less than Skarmory versus Skarmory over the years, right? So, yeah, not as bad, and, and thankfully the switch time lets us change it up there. So he switches out to his Umbreon. Um, both of them are going to take a heap of damage from Medicham, so he's just going to finish them both off. And that's it, and we will go 4 and 0 oh in the Townsville Cliffhanger Cup mid Silphorina season. So that's it, guys. Thanks very much for watching.